Number East 81. Carolina has been waiting all week for this one. Get ready, folks. The opening kickoff is finally here. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. Boise State staff and their fans have heard all week long their quarterback's going to play terribly on the road. I think their staff's got them ready to prove them wrong right now. I, I think this staff really has rallied this entire team around some of that negative talk. And I think they believe in their guy that he can go on the road and make the plays and lead them to a big victory. Uh, you know, sometimes when you hit some adversity like that, you see teams circle the wagons. And I, and I really believe this week they've done a great job of doing that. Now they just have to go out and execute the plan and go out and win this game. So it's third down, and they're just inches away from picking up the first down. Here's the toss. Nothing to it. And the linebacker comes up and makes a big stop. This is textbook. This is how you're supposed to play against the run. away and it's a booming punt. That was a great hit. He wasn't getting away from that one. Now the offense gets ready to take their first crack at it. There's a strike complete. And he's tackled at about the 47-yard line. And that play could have gone for six. Oh, boy, you're right. And all week long, this secondary did a lot of talking about how they were going to dominate these receivers. I think this is time that they step up and prove it on the field. Forget about talking trash. Let's see how they react. Boss is left. Intercepted. It looked like the pass was sailing out of reach, but he just climbed the ladder and made a spectacular interception. From their own 39-yard line. First down. They give to the tailback. Tackle at the 41. at midfield. They'll bring him down at the 46-yard line. He is such a good target, really anywhere on the field. They like to get him the ball in short to medium range situations. First and 10. Ball on the 46-yard line. Caught open field. Right down around the 41-yard line. Gain of five on the play. That'll make it second and four. Watch 49. I'm here all day. He's under pressure. Deep ball laying it out there. Almost intercepted. Almost a big play. He patrols the deep part of the field like a center fielder. Though he didn't make the catch like one. So it's third down now, and they're going to need about four. Quick throw incomplete on his receiver. Good effort there by the receiver, but just not enough room for him to get a foot down in bounds. Boise State is looking to go up by three. Kicks up, and he splits the uprights. They're ready for the kick. He really got a hold of that kick. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. And the offense will take the field, and they're certainly hoping to do better than they did in their last drive, which ended with a turnover. 
The first rule on offense is to take care of the football. These guys need to remember that on this drive. And he's taken down at about the 49. That is not easy to stop. The quarterback hit his man on an out route, and the defender was in man coverage. As a defender in man coverage, you cannot get beat deep. And as a result, the underneath routes are going to be there. And as you can see, it worked out great for the offense as they were looking for a new set of downs. That brings him second and five. a new set of downs. If the defense wants to line up and man, work that slant route until they stop it. And they make the stop at the 11-yard line. Defense on their heels now. It's first and goal. First down. Easy, easy. Throws complete. Touchdown. And he adds the extra point. It was a seven-play, 74-yard drive, and it results in a touchdown. An amazing drive for this offense. Outstanding execution. If you're the defense, you've got to do something to try to change things up to get this quarterback out of sync. The score now, 7-3. And he got all of this one. Great kick. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. The Pirates are smothering the opposition so far today. What's this offense got to do to get off the schneid? Well, right? you talk to offensive coordinators about that, and they'll say we've got to find our go-to guy. Who are our players that we know we can count on? And what are the plays that we typically feel the most confident about? It's usually where the offenses tend to go when they're getting shut down. And he makes it out to about the 27-yard line. From their own 27-yard line, it's second down. The quarterback in the gun, empty backfield, five wide receivers in the formation. Quick throw, and he's shoved out of bounds at the 35. Eight-yard gain on the pass, that'll be good enough for the first down. It's the protection up front that allowed this play to happen. The line controlled the rush, and it gave the quarterback an opportunity to deliver a very nice throw. And I think it was the quick throw by the quarterback that fouled up the defense on that one. Brad, I just think this quarterback's got to do a much better job of being able to read that defense and make quicker decisions. And especially when the defense starts to get pressure, you've got to either get rid of that football or check it down or take off and run with it. And they'll run him again. And he's level at the 33-yard line. From their own 33-yard line. Third down. Quick pass. And down he goes at the 39. First down. Somebody jumped early down there. False start, start offense. offense. Maybe he got the cadence wrong coming out of the huddle. The coaches Still have a low down. threshold for mistakes like that. So the penalty makes it first and 15. Three down, three down. Let's go, let's go. Hey, we got... Makes the catch and gets out of bounds. 
That makes it first and ten. ten. So they're going to try to determine if the receiver had possession and was inbounds or not. They call it a catch, but the booth signaled down to the referee that they'd like to take another peek at this. Man, as I see this play again, it really looks like he made the correct call on the field. After review of the play, the ruling on the field stands. After review, they decided that the call on the field will stand. Man left, man left. Dumps it complete to the halfback, over the middle. Tackle made at the 21. You can tell he's got a lot of faith in his wide receivers. Even when he's a little bit off target, they can pull it in and make something happen. Here's the eighth play of the series. Three down, three down. I'm coming, 16. Not a lot of offense in quarter number one, but nonetheless, we've got a close game. 7-3, ECU. Back to the action now here in the second quarter. Three down, three down. 49's the fight, watch 49. Here go. Set it, check, check, check. Fires quickly to the fullback. The play fake, good for only a couple. That'll bring up third and inches. It's third down, and they're about the length of the football away from the first down marker. Three down, three down. 49's the mic. Watch 49. Take go. The 10. Touchdown, Boise State. He just put his eyes on that end zone and ran with some real purpose there. So the kicker will line up here and try to give his team a three-point lead with this extra point. He splits the uprights with the extra point. A nine-play, 81-yard drive, and they get it in for seven. The kicker looks like he's ready to kick this one off. Nice kick, plenty of distance. And it sails out of the end zone for a touchback. Right, this has been a great game to watch. A lot of competitive spirit out there. The offenses seem to be going up and down the field. Back and forth we go. I think the winner will be which defense can make that pivotal stop to secure a victory. In a game that's this close, you can't afford to waste possessions. He's hit and taken down. mixing in some play action. And what that does is it freezes the linebackers and the safeties. It puts a lot of pressure on them to have to be able to defend both the run and the play action. And as a play caller, when I know I can go to play action pass, well, I feel really good about it. It's getting my quarterback in rhythm, slowing down the defense, and giving us a chance to make a big play. So it's second down and about two yards to go. Makes it out to maybe the 23-yard line. No game. That'll bring up third and two. Mike 13. Mike 13. Coming to you. Coming to you. Red two. 
Makes the catch and look out. And he's tackled around the 18 yard line. This is a big first down for this offense. I think it's another good example about how important it is to have an awareness about you as a wide receiver. The wide receiver did a really good job of knowing exactly where the first down marker was, and he made sure to get the route at least to that point. So when he made the catch and got hit, he had the first down. That makes it second and eight. Mike 13, Mike 13. Check, check. Finds his man and they take him down immediately. Tackle at the four. And he hits the PAT. East Carolina to kick. Excellent kick. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. This is my kind of game. We're getting a chance to see so many touchdowns. I just wonder if this offense can continue the flow that we've seen from the previous three series. With one quarter down, I really haven't seen too much separation between these two squads. Might be neck and neck the whole way. Dog four. Gets to about the 27 yard line. It's second down and eight. Ball on the 27 yard line. He's scrambling. They'll bring him down at the 28 yard line. That makes it very necessary. Larry, Larry. Let's go, let's go. Here we got Mike, number 53. Mike, number 53. Balls it in as he's pushed out of bounds. That makes it first and ten. What are you doing? First down, ten yards to go. Ball on their own 44. Here's the throw. I don't think he got anything on that. So it's complete, but they didn't get much there. And that's because the defense was just waiting on it, and they attacked. The quarterback should have found somebody else downfield. Brought down at the 43-yard line. That's good for a gain of 10 yards. First down. From the 43-yard line. First down. And he's going to lose big yardage. He's tackled immediately after the catch. Five-yard loss on the play. Well, that play was sort of out of sync from the start, but you have to also recognize that the defense made a great play. They read it from the get-go. Quick throw out to the receiver. Not a bad little play there. Yeah, it's a nice job by the quarterback reading the coverage and delivering a very catchable ball and allowing his receiver to come up with a nice game. It's third down, and they're about two yards shy of the sticks. Boise State's going to have to use their second time out of the half. 
And this is the ninth play of the current drive. The offensive coordinator has to be elated with the way his offense right now is executed. They're not in a hurry, but they're very, very methodical and very consistent with their approach. That's a third first down that they've picked up on this drive. A defensive end with this kind of speed is an offense's worst nightmare. He's got the ability to collapse the pocket on any given pass play. And as a play caller, you constantly have to be aware of it. Whether you're going to roll away from him or you're going to chip with a tight end or a running back, you're constantly concerned and aware of a big, strong defensive end. They'll make the sack. Absolutely perfect call by the defensive coordinator. He brought just the right amount of pressure from the right direction, and it seemed to confuse the offense. So the kicker comes out. He'll try to put three points on the board. Looks like someone got a head start on the line. False start, offense. It's so tough to move the ball forward. Even a five-yard setback can do damage to a drive. The kick is up, it's got the distance, and he just drilled it from long range. You know, I was wondering if he's gonna get a chance to kick one of those. We saw him warming up from 60 yards before the game. 14-13, ECU. They might just wanna squib this one. Only a few seconds left here before halftime. And they can forget about returning this one. Momentum swings have been fairly even. And with so little separation, this game can be drastically changed on just one or two plays. East Carolina is up one, gives it to the back, runs it right, nice pickup. Seven yards there on that bit of misdirection. Second down, and they're going to need about three yards to pick up the first down. Let's see if a quarterback heaves it up there and one of his guys can come down with it. Throws it deep. This one is batted away. We've still got a half of football remaining. The Pirates lead it by one. Glad to have you with us in the studio for the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 Halftime Show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. Reese Davis and David Pollock here completely locked in on that first half. We've been looking forward to this game all week, and it has lived up to billing. A close game. You feel like that it's going to be a great second half, and boy, we've got the perfect guys in the booth. What a reward today for Nestler and Herb Street to get this game. Well, you know, it's not a secret, Reese. They get the best game every week that we think's on the schedule, right? So they got this grave. It's great. It's close. It's going back and forth. I mean, what a treat to watch one of the best games of the year just unfolding in front of us. And more importantly, to hear the silky smooth sounds of Kirk Herbstreet and Brad Nessler. Does it get any better? We've done what we can do here at halftime. Time to get you back out to the second half. We'll keep an eye on everything going on in college football. Brad Nessler and Kirk Herbstreet ready with a call. Great first half. Hopefully the second half's as good. He really got a hold of that kick. And it sails out of the end zone for a touchback. We're about set to start things up again. I can't believe they let you play. I can't believe they even let you play. Go for it! Catches it, and he's looking for more. And he's taken down at the 34. East Carolina with a one-point lead. Go, kill, kill, kill. Go, 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 go. And he's immediately tackled. Slings it. And they back up three yards on that play. Not much going on there. Those kind of plays will not work against this defense. You can be sure of that. They're about four yards away here on third down. Stop your whining. Halfback's got it on a quick throw. That's a great tackle. The 37-yard line. Oh, 
He's wrapped up for the sack. That'll make it second and long. Defense looking for another sack in the second down and long situation. pattern but on third down and forever it just wasn't enough booming kick tries to get around the corner he fields the punt at the 13 he's taken down at the 21 yard line this deficit can be easily overcome sure but they have to be thinking if they don't get something going on this series, the burden is going to be felt by their defense. Fires quickly to the tight end, and they make the stop at the 24. From their own 24-yard line, it's second down. Strike to his receiver, no good. Pulls down the catch and he's got room here. Three and out. Yeah, the defense did a great job of winning that series. He really got a hold of that one. And down he goes at the 35-yard line. The offense takes the field again. They were forced to punt their last time out. East Carolina up a point. Fires it out. That's good for a gain of two yards. That makes it second and eight. Watch 35. Watch 35. Dog four. And it's caught, and he's brought down quickly. First and 10, ball on the 16. Dog four, yellow three. Number three, he intended to see the other way. This is the eighth play of this drive. East Carolina is up one. Counter play. And down he goes, around the 15-yard line. 
There's a strike complete. Tackle made at the 14. The defense was ready for that pass and catch, and they did a good job to hold them for such a short game. Fourth down. So the kicking team is on the field. They'll try for three. Kicks away, and he's got it. Looks like they're ready for the kick. He kicks it off, and he got all of that one. There's still plenty of time to keep running their offense as usual here. I don't think they need to feel any anxiety about trailing. Dog four. And he's tackled right away. Called a gain of 10 yards. That'll make it second in inches. It's second down, and they're about the length of the football from the first down marker. Three down, three down. 49's the fight. Watch 49. Caught open field, so they'll get the first down there on the five-yard completion. And that's just great execution on that short pass play. Tight left, tight left. Three down, three down. Three down, three down. Let's go, let's go. Hey, we got Mike, number five. Play fake, looking to run. He's tackled around the 49-yard line. That's a deep number one. That makes it second and two. It's second down, and they're about two yards away from the sticks. He rifles it. Open man, and it's his wide receiver. And he's level at the 17-yard line. So with one quarter remaining, the Pirates lead 17-13. Back in this very pivotal fourth quarter. Double tight, double tight. Double tight. Three down, three down. Three down, three down. Check, 27. Three down. He gets rid of this one. From the 17-yard line. Second down. He shoved out of bounds at about the 13. Did you see how he looked that ball into his hands? That's how you catch a football. The defense has got some of their best pass defenders on the field. They set up in the dime to counter that five wide receiver set. They bring the quarterback down. Coaches don't like it when their quarterback gets hit like that. Don't be surprised to see the old coach get on his lineman to protect the quarterback a little bit better. They'll call on the field goal unit here. He gets it up, and it's through the uprights. Boise State is ready to kick it away. He sends this one deep. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. Things aren't tied, but they might as well be. It's this drive that could really dictate the tone for the last quarter. A quarterback in the gun with five receivers. Quick pass. East Carolina with a one-point lead. Hit. 
pulls it in, and that's a first down. And he's tackled at the 38. So they get it out there for about three yards, and that's a first down. Nice throw and catch there to get past the sticks. When you've got a quarterback making throws that quickly, the defense doesn't have a lot of time to react to the play. And a quick throw. He's at midfield. Tackled around the 44-yard line. Sets up a screen. Tailback's got it. Loss of two yards on the play. That'll bring up second and 11. From the 46-yard line, it's second down. uses their tight ends very effectively. But when they do, it can be a nightmare for a defense. Kill, kill, kill. He gets hit out of bounds at about the 35. That was a loss of 40 yards. That makes it second and 14. And this is the eighth play of the drive. East Carolina, up a point. Here we go, here we go, here we go. Blue 20. You gonna see me in your nightmare. Defense got some pressure and forced a bad pass. I think they've been a little bit more aggressive here with their pass rush, and that time it paid off with an incompletion. It's the ninth play of the drive. Right two. Gets it out quickly, and he hits him hard at the 35. Not much there on the screen play. That'll make it fourth and 14. It's fourth down. They'll call on the field goal unit. Kicks up, and it's good! They line up to kick this one away. Nice kick, plenty of distance. And they can forget about returning this one. The Broncos have got to be just a little bit careful that they lean too much on a star player here in this stage of the game. Yeah, but having a quarterback that understands what this defense wants to try to do to slow this offense down is very, very important. Now he's just got to stay calm, make good decisions, and move his offense down the field. Just under two minutes in the game. And he goes down quickly. How about that play? That's a good pickup there. He just dropped back and delivered a nice throw. Makes the catch and gets out of bounds. Gain of 16 on the play. First down.
So the coach challenges the call, the and they're going to try to determine the if the receiver made the catch in bounds. After, After review, review of the play, the, play, the ruling, ruling on, the on the field stands. The ruling on the field will stand. He caught it. The only thing left to say about this play is that was an excellent catch. We've got a first and ten. Ball on the 48. He's scrambling. Rock down at the 48-yard line. That makes it seven. Inside the 42. Well, you can see the elation on the defensive coordinator side of things, and why not? His defense just came up with one of the biggest stops of the game in a vital spot in this fourth quarter. Just over a minute left. He's taken down at the 37. That gives him 100 yards in the game. You got to love this quarterback receiver combo. Talking to these guys before the game, they told me they spend about an hour after every practice perfecting the routes. It sure shows. Quick throw. Let's see if this coaching staff sticks with the short passing game or if they decide to open it up a bit more. Here's the eighth play of the series. Go. Quick strike to the receiver. And they make the stop at the 25-yard line. And that just might do it. Intercepted. And there isn't anyone who's going to catch this cornerback. He's got an opening. Boise State's quarterback, you know, typically doesn't make a mistake in that situation. Well, sometimes you, you take a chance, and sometimes you become the hero, and sometimes you become the GOAT. This time, it, it didn't work out for him. He'll be able to learn from this and move forward. You know this is a real crucial time in the game. It could still go either way. He takes a knee, looking to take some time off that clock. From their own 37-yard line. Second down. And this should be a kneel down as they just try to kill the clock. You're an offensive coordinator. You love this play. His quarterback will take a knee. this broadcast to a close. For EA Sports and Kirk Street. I'm Brad Nessler. We'll see you soon for another edition of NCAA Football 14.